Greetings my beautiful lovelies. Hello, it's Emmy and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a gudak. So a gudak is a traditional food that comes from native Alaskan peoples way up in the northern climates of the US. And this is also known as Eskimo ice cream. So a gudak literally translates to mix. And traditionally you would use some kind of animal fat, seal fat, moose fat. But these days many people use Crisco. It's much more convenient and you can just buy it at the supermarket. Of course, Crisco is a hydrogenated fat. That means a hydrogen atom has been added, so this becomes a solid fat at room temperature. Here's our tub of Crisco. This particular can of Crisco contains soybean oil, fully hydrogenated palm oil. So the version I'm going to be making today is a sweet one and it's eaten at special events like birthday parties, but there's also a savory version that uses meat or fish instead. So like many recipes, there's lots of different versions. The one I'm going to use today is basically one part Crisco to one part sugar and then four parts of berries. The first thing we want to do is have impeccably clean hands and then in a large bowl we're going to add our Crisco. And I'm going to use a half cup of Crisco. Some of you asked about this little measuring device in my mayo cake video and this is an OXO Good Grips adjustable measuring cup. I quite like it for things that are thick like this because when you plunge it out it comes out nice and cleanly. It is also fully adjustable between liquid measure and dry measure. Just plunge it out and you get your measuring cup remains nice and clean. So before I even get started, I know some of you are already cringing or worried or concerned about the use of half a cup of Crisco that will be consumed essentially raw. But if you really think about it, if you buy a container of this, that's essentially what this is. If we look at the label, sugar being number one ingredient, the next ingredient is palm oil, which is basically, as we just saw, the same ingredient that is in Crisco. So this is basically instantly made a gudak without the fresh fruit. So the traditional way to make this is to use your hands. So let's go ahead and whip our Crisco. We want to get nice and light and fluffy. So squish that up. It actually feels really nice. You know what it feels like? It feels like body butter. It's very thick. And the warmth of my hands will kind of get this whipped up. Ugh, it feels great actually. <laughs> kind of decadent. So some of the traditional fruit that would be added to this would include cloud berries or salmon berries, blueberries, whatever what was foraged in the summer. I'm already tired. I <laughs> don't have very good a good duck form. All right. <laughs> Now we're going to add half a cup of sugar. Whip that in there too. So here is my whipped Crisco with sugar. Now I'm going to add my berries and in this case these are frozen wild blueberries. This is four parts berries to one part Crisco, and in this case, it's two cups to a half cup. All right, that math is right, right? Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be beautiful. Now we're gonna use our hand again to lightly incorporate the berries into the shortening. All right. Ooh, it's so cold. Don't wanna crush the fruit. Oh, look at that beautiful color. And here is my beautiful bowl of a gudak. Isn't it lovely? Look at that purple pink color that it's taken on. It feels so great. Right. Eat the ducky moth. Mm-hmm. It's actually very good. 
you get the wonderful flavor of the berries and enough sweetness to make it feel like a dessert. And then the shortening just kind of binds it all together and it's like frosting. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. Because I use shortening and shortening really doesn't have much of a flavor. It's very neutral tasting. You taste mostly just the fruit itself. I would love to try a version made with moose fat or seal fat. I'm sure this dish would taste completely different in that case. Also with game meat or with fish, I think this would be completely different too. Of course, that pushes this into the world of savory rather than sweet. But yeah, there you go. Eskimo ice cream or a gudak. So let me know in the comments if you've ever been to Alaska before, if you've ever had a gudak before or any other traditional foods that you'd like to see me make or try. I am all ears. And yeah, thanks so much for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Share this video with your friends and follow me on social media. And I shall see you in my next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. <laughs>